Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Are you looking for some budget-friendly DIYs to decorate your patio or garden area with? Whether you like high-end farmhouse DIYs, nautical, or whimsical, this video has a little bit of something for everyone. I hope you enjoy today's projects and find tons of inspiration. For our first project, we're going to be using one of Dollar Tree's three and a half inch terracotta pots and we'll give that one coat of black chalk paint. I also made sure to paint the top rim as well as inside the pot a little bit. Grab a bowl. Any bowl will do. I'm using a Dollar Tree bowl. This has a print on one side and it measures about five and a half inches across the top. I'm going to give this two coats of crimson chalk paint. This is made by Waverly. It is going to give you the most beautiful deep red color. Once that dries, we're going to take one of Dollar Tree's small sponge brushes and dab that into some black chalk paint and make sure that we have it evenly spread across the sponge. We're going to draw a line in the center of the bottom of our bowl. Then we'll bring that line down on one side, turn it around, and bring the line down again on the opposite side. So you'll have one continuous line that runs from one side of the bottom of the bowl to the other side. Using a larger Dollar Tree sponge applicator, we're going to dab that into the black chalk paint and create a semicircle at the bottom of one of those lines on one side. Now you can make this as big or as small as you like. Then we're going to take that same sponge brush applicator, dip that into our paint, and hold it in place to create the perfect circles on the outside of the bowl. I'm going to add a couple of those on each side of the line, and then we'll take the smaller sponge brush to create some smaller circles throughout on each side. So you can add as many dots as you like to create this beautiful ladybug. Make sure you allow that to thoroughly dry. This is how mine is looking. Then we're going to take the end of a wooden dowel, the flat end, dip that into our white paint, and then create two small white circles for the eyes. You can also use the end of a paintbrush for this. Once you have allowed all of the paint to dry, we're going to seal everything in with some Mod Podge. This is going to protect that chalk paint from the weather and being outdoors. I'm using a matte Mod Podge. If you would like a shinier look, you could use a gloss Mod Podge. Just try to make sure you keep your brush strokes minimal so it'll have a beautiful finish. I allow that to dry overnight, and then you can add in your favorite plant or flower and this will give your garden or patio area a beautiful pop of color. For this project, you're going to need one of Dollar Tree's styrofoam basketballs. Make sure it's styrofoam and not the ones that have the air in it so you don't have to worry about it deflating outside. Give this one coat of white chalk paint and allow that to dry. Then I started off using the color Daybreak made by Folk Art, but it was not as bright as I wanted it to be. So I'm going back over that with a lemon yellow made by Folk Art. Give that one coat and allow it to dry. Then we're going to take an oil-based Sharpie. This is going to fit perfectly in the grooves of the basketball. We're going to draw on all of the lines except for the one on one side. So I started off in the center and then I did the swirls on each side. And then you're going to get the other side, the swirls on that side. And then the very center, you're only going to want to draw that line on one side. So you're leaving the center on one side blank because we're going to draw a face there. Using that same oil-based Sharpie, I'm going to draw the eyes as well as the mouth, and then I'll fill in those eyes with the oil-based Sharpie. Once you have allowed that to thoroughly dry, we're going to take some white chalk paint, dip the end of a paintbrush in there to create the whites for the eyes. 
He is so cute. This is going to be the cutest little bumblebee. Once you allow that to dry, we're going to take some Mod Podge, go over the entire basketball to seal that in to protect that chalk paint. Then grab one of Dollar Tree's Flower Garden Stakes. This is the barcode if you need it. I'm going to take some tin snips and cut the two wires that are holding the flower petal on there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut two of the flower petals off. So that you'll have two little wires sticking up at the end. I'm going to take some pliers and bend one of those wires over to make like a small loop. Then I can loop that around the straight wire and take those pliers to close it together so it doesn't come off. So it's going to look like this. Then I'm going to take the straight wire and I'm going to bend it away from the flower petal in the opposite direction. And you're going to do the exact same thing for the other flower petal. Then we're going to take a piece of wire. You can use floral wire as long as it is thick and sturdy. You want something sturdy. We're going to wrap that around the end of a paintbrush to create a loop and then twist it really tightly. I'm going to do this maybe 10 or 12 times to make sure it's nice and tight. And then you'll pull that off of the end of your paintbrush and you have a perfect loop at the end. Then I'm going to cut that excess wire off. I'm going to make it about an inch long. We're going to be attaching that to the top of the basketball so that we'll be able to hang this up. So I just poked a hole and then I reinforced it with some hot glue. Now you're going to probably want to use some permanent glue. I'm using hot glue just for video purposes. Then we're going to take one of those flower petals, line it up so we can push that wire down into the styrofoam, add your glue. Again, you'll probably want to use something like an E6000. Then I'm going to go behind that petal and add a little bit more hot glue to reinforce it and make sure that it stays in place. Then we're going to turn it around and do the exact same thing on the other side. I decided to go ahead and cut two more petals so that he could have two wings on each side. So I'm going to line that up right behind the first petal and I'm going to glue it the exact same way we did with the other two. Then I'm going to repeat that for the last petal on the other side. Now you have the cutest, whimsical, bright, and beautiful bumblebee for your flower garden. Grab one of Dollar Tree's metal buckets with the rope on one end. This one measures about seven and a half inches tall. Carefully paint right above the rope with some white chalk paint and then paint the entire outside of the bucket, including the very bottom. This will take two coats of white chalk paint and allow that to dry. Then take a Dollar Tree dowel, mark it to one inch. Then I'm using my handheld miter shears to cut these down. I have that listed in my Amazon store in my description box below if you're interested. Cut four of those and then sand each of the ends flat. Then I'm going to apply these to the back side of a piece of painter's tape to the sticky side. Then I'm going to tape that down to my surface so that I can easily paint these with some black chalk paint, including the very ends. Once that dries, I'll roll them over and paint the other side. Now flip your bucket upside down and mark the center at the bottom of the bucket, and then evenly mark four spaces at the very rim. We're going to hot glue those dowels at each of those spaces. Now I do recommend using some E6000. I'm just using hot glue for video purposes. Then we're going to take some twine and glue this not at the very top but almost at the top on one of the dowels. Pull that to the next one and then loop it around that dowel. And once you have that looped, you'll add a little bit of hot glue to hold that loop in place. Then once that sets, you'll continue to do that around each of the dowels until you get to the very beginning where you started. And it should be looking something like this. Then we're going to take a 
piece of painter's tape and cover up the rope at the bottom so we don't get any paint on that and take one of Dollar Tree's large sponge brush applicators and we're going to pull that straight down after we dip it into some black chalk paint then we'll go to the other side and kind of curve it to the left and then the other side curve it to the right this is going to give you a perfect arch at the top then you can fill in the rest with a fine paintbrush then make sure to turn it over and get right there at the line where the rope is then i'm going to take a smaller sponge brush and go around the very rim which is now going to be the top part of our lighthouse and you'll want to take some mod podge and apply over this to seal all of that paint in to protect it then take one of dollar tree solar lights remove the stake and then I'm using my hand saw and miter box to cut this down to one and a half inches. Then I'm going to run that over some sandpaper to smooth that cut in so make sure it's nice and flat. Then we can reattach it to our solar light. And again, I'm showing you hot glue, but you'll want to use some permanent glue to glue this right to the center at the top of your lighthouse. And this is going to give you some height right above those dowels. This is such a beautiful piece and it is even more beautiful at nighttime. For this project, you will need one of Dollar Tree's metal flower pots some of their decorative stones, and some of their chafing fuel. I filled in about half of my metal flower pot with some gravel from my driveway, then set two of the chafing fuels on top of your gravel and fill in the rest with some of those decorative rocks. This is a beautiful way to light up your patio, or you can also make s'mores on these. Now, if you can't find those metal flower pots, you can use one of their metal dog food bowls, but make sure it's the metal one and not the plastic ones. Do it the same way with filling in the bottom with some gravel and then the top with some decorative rocks. And you can add a couple of these on your patio and at night it is absolutely gorgeous. For this project, you will need two of Dollar Tree's 12-inch honey plastic planters. You can find these in the Dollar Tree Plus section for $5 a piece. I also found these at Dollar General, but they wanted $10 a piece. I'm using my hair dryer to loosen the glue so that I'll be able to remove the labels. And I am using Loctite Premium. You can find this at Lowe's. You're also going to need some latex gloves. We're going to flip one of those planters over and right there at that rim on the bottom, we're going to apply a really good amount of that Loctite. Then we'll set the second planter on top of that and I'm going to put a one gallon paint can in there to give it some weight and make sure the two pieces adhere together. So while that glue is setting, I'm going to take this wood round I found at Lowe's for $8. It's one inches thick and it's 15 inches round. If you can't find these, you could also use a $5 pizza pan in the plus section at Dollar Tree. I'm going to set these up on my little plastic triangles and I have that listed in my Amazon store below in my description box if you're interested in those. It just makes it so much easier to paint. I'm using Min Wax in the color Espresso and I am applying this with a sponge brush and then going over it with a lint-free cloth to blend it in and remove any of that excess stain. You'll do that for all sides and once your glue has set up, we're going to attach that wood piece directly to the top of one of those planters using that same Loctite Premium. Just center that on top, apply some pressure, and allow that glue to set up. Then I'm going to flip it upside down, and to give it a little bit of a decorative accent, I'm going to add some nautical rope with that Loctite around the center. Not only is it going to be a nice decorative accent, it's also going to give us some extra support to hold those pieces together. 
Then I went back over it with a wet napkin to make sure I removed any of that excess glue that was on the planners. And you have a gorgeous patio side table for less than $20. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found tons of inspiration. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. Please take care and I will see you guys next time.